Vega. I'm going to make it like my grandfather used to make it. Uh, when we, he knew we was coming up to see him. He was in Virginia. We were in Tennessee. He would always make us some rutabagas. And he'd put them on the wood stove. And literally, you could smell them halfway up the holler before you even got to the house. Because rutabaga has that smell to them. But the simple thing he did, I will show you what he did. And I love these things. I love them, love them, love them. I'm the only one in my household that likes them. So I usually just get one if I get one. I grew them a few years ago and uh, just I only planted about seven or eight plants just because I knew I was going to be the only person to eat it anyway. So I want to make this rutabaga for us. Okay guys, I'm simply taking my kettle and putting some water in there. I do boil all my water. We have city water. Uh, I wish we had fixed it to where our spring came up to the house, but we didn't at the time, so we were actually in a hurry to get here because our other house had sold. So I didn't really have time to do all that anyway. But now I'm going to take approximately, I'm going to tell you, a teaspoon a teaspoon's worth of bacon grease. And this is just bacon grease that I say. Put that in there. Let that melt down. I've got the heat on. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon. Hmm. No, not quite a teaspoon. Probably three quarters of a teaspoon. And this is just for this one word of bacon. Of salt in there. And, and some people probably think this is weird, but I just try to stick with what my grandfather did. About a tablespoon's worth of sugar. One, two, three. So that's three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of... Um, maybe a little more of the bacon grease and a tablespoon of sugar. Now I'm going to peel my rutabaga. So we're just going to peel it just like you would a potato or anything else. You can use a potato peeler on this, but sometimes there's a little tough spot. The problem with when you buy these is they cover them in that wax to keep them preserved. And I guess that's good, you know, for what it's for. I got that sucker peeled. Now I'm just going to cut it in slices. And these things can be kind of tough. They kind of taste, if anybody hasn't tasted these, these are kind of cross between a sweet potato and a turnip. And I'd lean closer to the turnip than I would the sweet potato. So that would give you an idea. Orange than this. Now these things can be a booger to peel or to cut up. You know, when I peeled this, I used my potato peeler sometimes for things, but most of the time I use a knife, and I guess it's just because I was raised doing it that way. We never had a potato peeler when I was growing up, and so I've just gotten used to a lot of things without it. Now, stuff like carrots and things like that, I still like to use. Oh, I like to use a potato peeler, but things like this, I don't. Now, like I said, these suckers will smell your house up. Very much so. I know y'all think, good Lord, she's scaring me with that knife. Well, these things are a little tough. You just have to kind of take your time when you do them. Now, got them cut up. I'm just simply going to cook them. And it'll... And spill it on the eye. And it'll take a little while today to cook these up. And after I get them cooked up, I will be back. I'm going to put a lid on these and turn them down to about to where they won't boil over with the lid halfway on them. Actually, halfway on them is best than all the way on them. I'll kind of tilt it sideways. Now, if you live in a holler, go halfway down the holler. When these get about three-fourths cooked, and see if you smell them. 
Hey guys, um, I decided I'd look up the, the benefits of rutabaga because I know rutabaga is supposed to be really, really good for you and I need to make it more often than I do. It's hard to when it's something that just you eat, so you tend not to make it as much, but I need to start really using it more because it is very good in a lot of things. It's very, it's just actually kind of almost a superfood. Uh, they're high in antioxidants. It prevents premature aging. They're high in potassium. Potassium is actually 1,177 milligrams, which is really high in potassium, which is great. Uh, it is a carb. Now, I'm, what I'm telling you is in the whole rutabaga, that whole thing that I started with. Uh, this isn't serving size. This is that bulb, a medium-sized bulb of rutabaga. Uh, it has 107, 145 calories in that. It has 33 grams of carbs in that. Uh, which everybody's counting their carbs, but also we need carbs to a degree. But it is high in fiber, which it has 9 uh, grams of fiber in it. And my understanding with that is you minus the fiber from the carbs. So 33 carbs, grams of carbs, minus 9 uh, grams of um, fiber, that would be 20, 24 grams of carbs, actually. So there, there's the good thing with that. It does have 17 grams of sugar in it, which this is natural sugars, but then I put three tablespoons of sugar in it. So there you go with that. But anyway, they tasted good. Um, they're high in vitamin C, 160% of the daily allowance of vitamin C, B6, 20%, magnesium, 19%, and calcium, 16%. So this, rutabagas are very good for you guys. Um, I encourage you to try this. Like I said, just get you one if you don't want to, if you've never tried it before. If you have tried it before and it's one of those things kind of like me that you just don't mess with anymore, I encourage you to get it because God knows we need all the vitamins we can get. Okay, guys, these are done. And I do want to tell you that I went back and actually got me about two more tablespoons of sugar. I tasted them when they was about three-fourths cooked. And they weren't to my liking. Where this is one of those things I just make a couple times a year. I don't really keep up with the ratio like I guess I should. So I probably need to write it down now that I've done a video on it. Maybe I'll have it down on it. <laughs> anyway, and there's my rutabaga. So you can tell that they even turned a, more of an orange color. And um, they really good. They're, they're good for you. Anyway, I hope you guys got something out of this today, and I encourage you to try uh, rutabaga if you haven't ever tried it, and if you have tried it, probably ought to put it back on your list, because it's got a lot of good values to it that God knows we need in this day and time with all the things that there is out there to eat that's of no value whatsoever. Anyway, God bless you guys. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you next time. God bless.